Bonjour watcher, this is Johnny Banger 45 and welcome back to the Fruit of Greece Saya. In the last episode, all the other four girls as Sakaki has verified that Yuji is a stalker. So let's continue. But I'm gonna say in the last sentence. Stalker? Now they have a bad impression on him. Oh! ストーカーみたいに言わないでちょうだい。で、この目も元は風見くんが書いたものに間違いはないのね。うん、うん、そ、そうよ、そうです。部屋に侵入して手帳から移したものだから間違いないのよさ。他の人が書いたとは思えませ
the range of Sakaki face instantly changes into utter confusion. Now waiting for her to process the remark, I continue my explanation. Your father, Sakaki Miyachaki, contract contacted my employee and determined that your personal safety was at risk. They made arrangement for your protection. <laughs> I've been assigned to the job, so knowing where you are at all times is my responsibility. I apologize if you found it disturbing. Sakaki shot glass falters, her eyes drops to the ground at her feet. Gripping her nicer even more firmly than before, she muttered something too quietly for me to hear. Sakaki? Gradually, her voice grows louder until her last few words squeeze their ways out of her mouth. Itsuyonai. Say what? Sakaki's eyes snatch out to meet mine once more. Itsuyonai wa chichi ga nani o itta ka wakaranai kedo, goe nan ka iranai. You are the daughter of the East Beach Group President that place you in a dangerous position. If you keep walking around without any security, eventually. Uh, I can still see the anger in Sakaki's face, but it changed. There's a hint of something reckless and indifferent in her expression, something like resignation. With also when Sakaki turns and leaves the roof. There was that about. I can understand that having someone follow you around would be unpleasant. But the reason Sakaki refused my protection doesn't seem to have much to do with that. The woman talks like she is completely dis disinterested in her own safety. Of course I was ordered to protect her, so I'm going to continue doing that, so but it's unsettling to hear her talk like that. Left a bad taste in my mouth. The documents I was given on Sakaki containing essential information on her current situation, but there was practically nothing concerned her past or that of her East Beach group. This borderline self destructive attitude clearly didn't come from nowhere, I just don't have enough information to make sense of it. For now, the only thing I can do is take care of the job I was assigned. Can't say if this applies to more typical student dominant authorities, but in this place, there is a, a that dramatic dif a difference in atmosphere between school days and vacation days. The residents wear casual clothes instead of student school uniforms, that's about it. Days off are really that much of an upper, and weekends are that strong a downer. Oh shit! Where was I just now? The energy level around here appears to stay pretty much coincident. I'm only always doing her best dogging and his impressions. Makina's constantly babble always in dubious defense. Sachi never fails to offer the perfect service with a superficial polite smile. And Michiro, of course, is an idiot 24-7. Hi! Likewise, this woman's expression doesn't change, change much, no matter what the calendar reads. Yes, they had the class outside the window. She reaches tentatively towards an umbrella and then hesitates. After a moment, the pattern repeats itself. Eventually, she picks up the tote bag sitting at her side, shoots a few cautious glances around the area, and begin to ease open the door as quickly as possible. Yo! <laughs> ah, she's cute! Sakiki twitches like a starter cat. Slowly, stiffly, she returns to face me. Going out, I say. Just so you know, the weather was more turbid until late tonight. Have a safe trip. Despite my constant umbrella related tip, the woman especially is now one of clear hostility. hostility. It's my job, doll. It's Sorry, but whether you think it's necessary doesn't really matter. The objective of relationship was that you are in danger, and more importantly, I am orders from the main. Hey! Alright then, time to go, I guess. これで三日連続ですね。どうやらユージの仕事が関係してるっぽいのは分かったけど、それにしてもあんだけ拒絶されてもいかなきゃいけないって辛いよね。面倒ちいよな。でもどうしてボディーガードとかさせるんだろう。
その辺は多分ユージも榊さんも教えてくれないだろうし動向を見守る以外はないって感じでしょうかそうねまあ見守ってるうちにここで人情沙汰とか起きなきゃいいけどみちる様一人首をひねっていらっしゃいますがここで言う人情とは人の情けのことではなく刃物で人を傷つけるの意味ですよ分かってるわよそんなこと思ってなかったわよちょっと何のことが分かんなかっただけよ分かってへんがなルプレスウィサカキスペンスはオフデイズイズファーフロンドエカデミーフォルミドフォルパンフォーマーオーフラゲンティーテスト・サウト・ウォークス・フリアグミターズ・オーソー・アロー・ド・プロフェチュア・ロース・ダウト・ド・シーン・ユア・デー・ダー・フィオー・スタッカー・ナティー・ナウェイ・オブ・ライン・スパー・ソーイシュ・イス・ナッマッチ・オブ・チャレンジ・オーソー・ベイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・ウェイ・I guess 60% of the reason her hoping to fight so much in the Susu I will escape my surveillance. The other 40 is pure anger. As a concern, we have our body c a r clearly not even a single percent. In fact, the day after I made the troll, Saka k tried to run away from me the moment she saw my face. The girl is only a m a t u r so naturally it didn't take long for me to catch up, but since then, she's been constantly watch, waiting, watching for another chance. Can't be too careless. Easy enough to catch up with her after she falls, but there's always a possibility someone will attack her in the meantime. Far safer to constantly keep an eye on her. I want a job, after all, they'll come my way if I slack off. Sakiki h e a r s another heavy sigh, then a s k for the destination s a slightly quicker than the gate. Easily matching her pace, I follow in silence. After less than 10 minutes of walking, we ride the right river back. The river is called the Shinozaki, a smaller river class speed river that flows down to the coast of Mishima Cape. Since we are close to where it's m e n t to see, it's fairly wide here with a moderately side bank on either side. Are the scenes going to happen here? But it's not that late night right now. Not too far away, one of the East Beach express lines owned by Sakaki's family cuts down across the river. Every 30 minutes or so, the two diesel train rumbles across the Iron Bridge. <sighs> As Ellie softly, Sakaki lowers the total bags in her bags to the grassy ground. She tells herself down next to it, retrieves color pencils from the side, then plots her B4 size sketchbook against her knees. And looking straight out of the scenery before she begins in her name, moving her pencil across the paper. I only learned this after becoming Sakaki's guard, but the reason she ever r e l e a v e s the campus for hours at the time that is a very simple one. She draws a picture. Yes, a very beautiful scene. I can't see her panties there. I can't see her panties. That's because her black sock is interfered. Yes, I can't see it. Wait, did I saw a sensor part there. Yeah, I saw a sensor part there. Never mind. We don't see anything here. Maybe she didn't want her classmates to know about her hobby. Maybe there are some re other reasons. Either way, I'm just glad she wasn't coming to the contract with any strange characters. In the scenario, there will be a lot of trouble, so probably let us clean up to take care of. But Jamie probably would warn me if the girl was up to anything too risky. I've never been that worried about her activities. In other words, more like mildly curious. Just a little bit. Sakaki approached to her as a straightforward and orthodox. She began by roughly sketching out the scene in general, then proceeded to fill in details little by little. She's not quite on the level of the dedicated art student, but judging from what I've seen of her work, the girl has a good amount of talent and skill. That said, I don't have much of an eye for art. I can tell she's good on technical level, but I don't have any, many other impressions. Even if I did, that space in there would be probably irritate Sakaki further. Nice weather. Hanging back far enough not to get in Sakaki's way, I look out into the sky, feeling the sun beating down on my face. The latter half of July is always perfect, but pretty hot, especially in this area. Nice refresher, scenery and all, but it's not the most pleasant season. Drop off, drops the sweat, the blazes, sun, summer suns, a private preacher's taking shape. 
I shake my head with spell. The shadowy whisper of memories floating to the surface of my mind, then return my attention to the subject of my surveillance. Okay, it's about time I guess. The sun sip of the horizon as it's sliding uh, gently uh, down in the slope of the mountain. All of us under the air is buffing orange light. Bear's taking that as a signal. So Saka can get us out her material, scratch out her legs for the first time in hours, then slowly gets to her feet. Nah. And kicking lightly at the ground, her parents' irritation, she speaks to me. Anata, so yate zitto tatte iru bakari de. Watashi ni wa issai hanashikake yo to shinai no ne. Did you want me to make a conversation? Masaka. Tada, it's mo shitsukoi gura ni watashi no ikusaki yo tazneru kuse ni. Koko ni kitara nani mo kika nai kara fushigi ni omotta dake yo. You came here to draw. Once I confirmed that you weren't going anywhere, I didn't have any reason to bother you. Shigoto de shitsuyo na kote dake kita. That's right. Talking to your client more than necessary would be an expression of personal interest. When that's not relevant, that bare facts are enough. <laughs> What's wrong? Sakaki turns her back in somewhat grumpy fashion. As her daughter backs off the ground, then begins to walk off without so much as a word. I follow her quickly, later straight as at a similarly rapid pace. My investigation of Sakaki recalls moments and protection of this person continue along those lines. Sakaki fundamentally ignored me. When she did thought it was mostly hostile questions or arbitrary complaints. The atmosphere was badly strained, to say the least. Wait, don't rush the movement yet. Myself, don't rush the movement. The voice is yet to come. And gradually the complaints began to grow more frequent and more aggressive, cultivating an incident about one week later. One week later, okay, finally! Today, Sakaki seems even more irritable than usual. She was reading in the lobby for early morning, and then before noon, she head out to the sketch at the riverbank. In other words, the two of us has been alone together more or less only since they have a greater on greater on her nerves. Stopping her drawing in the early evening, as you Stopping her drawing in the early evening, as you always, she gathered out her belongings more rapidly than usual. They stopped out of me and began to fast. Manners plan. Not to worry, I do have basic manners. I make sure to avoid my eyes from any potential shameful actions on your part. So you could do you could do jitai no mana i hand that. Naze wa karanai no kashira. I've been tempted to smoke things over, but seems to have poor oil on the fire instead. This is something I've been vaguely aware for a while now, but it seems I have a bad habit of arranging more movement over the strangest little things. All the more pathetic because it usually the result of where intention intention was backfiring rather right? than actual maliciousness on my part. The music to stop. Daichi, anata no yu sono kyo itte nan na no kashira. Kouji de sanzan tsuki matotte yoku wakatta desho. Watashi wa sude ni jikka kara mo jama mono atsukai sareta sonzai na no. Ima sara, dare ka ga eiri mokuteki de chikayotte kuru koto nado arienai wa. From the start, Sakaki has insisted that she didn't want protection, but now she tires out of, tries out a different objection. To be sure, I have a up on any concrete threats approaching Sakaki in a way that I have been watching over her. It'll be too late to start protecting you after something happens. A bodyguard is a preventative measure, not much a good in installing a burglar alarm after someone's clear up, clean up your safe, right? <laughs> But today just might be the day that changes. Alright, in that case, take a look behind you. Something starts another angry retort, but swallows her words as she knows that I say I have said something strange. There's been something wrong with this picture for a little while now. I got it. This is not a ghost story, okay? So, Sakaki do seems to have finally caught the scent of something strange in the air. With timid uncertain movements, she slowly turns her head to look behind her. <laughs> oh! Mafia! This is really bad. A group of blandly suspicious looking men in black suits stares back. They're not even trying to hide where they are. They probably means they are planning to take possible measures. 
only reinforcing this impression the unmarked the unmarked van parked next to their cars on the road above standard vehicles for getting off a kidnap getting off a kidnap victim. This gentleman does strike me as the most peace loving bunch. Even without a van and a search, it's clear enough from a glance at the leading at the at the lead group that these people are here for a calm negotiation. A brawny man struck a white in the shoulders, towers at the head of the bank, and decided there's a man with a bandage go around his face. Probably breaking something hard. <laughs> a third case is out dangling loose at his side in the manners of a martial arts, waiting and watching for us to make a move. Even then, came out with a good evening, could just spare a moment to talk. At this point, it'll be hard to take as any table of sarcastic provocation. <laughs> Sakachi's tone voice has grown distinct and uneasy. Faced with an unfamiliar atmosphere of danger, a normal co-headed individual has melted away. She's unconsciously grabbed hold of my shirt, and there's a clear fear in her, in her eyes. Well, I don't have much of value as a commodity, so I think it's safe to assume that it's after you, Sakachi. <laughs> You can make excuses if you want, but I don't think they are going to change their objective. <laughs> Sakaki has squeezed my sleeves even more tightly. The man approaches slowly and slowly, eyes fixed intent on us, looking for the right moment to take action. The chair in front of that seems like a main track. They got five others hanging out at the back, including their drivers, but that group doesn't seem to have any combat experience. Listen very carefully. <laughs> Drawing my face close to Sakaki, I push her long hair away from the side of her head. Alright, we're 